Good morning, friends. Myself, Dr. Srinidhi Kumar Ajarya. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Medical Classes by Srinidhi Kumar. Please subscribe my channel and also give your comments. Thank you very much. So today, so we will continue with the the topic Shaya Mutra, and today we will going to understand the Ayurvedic understanding of the disease and its management. As explained in the previous class, Shaya Mutra has been mentioned as one of the Balaroga in Sharangdara Samhita, and it is only the name which is mentioned by Sharangdara. There is no much reference or explanation is available. But one of the Tikakara of Sharangdara Samhita, he mentioned Ratru Sapna Vastayam Shayagati Bale Akshirna Purvakam Mutrayati Dosha Pravavat. And this is the only explanation available regarding Shaya Mutra in Ayurveda. Now, When you come to the treatment part, one of the books that is Vangasena Samhita in Bala Roga Chikisa Adhyaya, Shloka number 138, and also the Baishaja Ritnavali Bala Roga Adhyaya. So that explains some of the treatment of Shaya Mutra. The diseased description of Shaya Mutra is not available in these books, but the treatment part has been dealt to some extent. Now, what Baishaja Ratnavali says is the child is a child with a Shaya Mutra is asked to kneel down on his knees at the place where he used to pass the urine and he is asked to hold the fingers of his feet by one hand then eat the cooked rice offered in a place with another hand so this is explained as one of the treatments of course when we see look into the practicality of this particular explanation this is not uh, this cannot be followed in the present day practice. Of course, the, this particular explanation gives the message of a hortatory enforcement method. And uh, when we are discussing the clinical aspects of uh, Shaya Mutra or nocturnal enuresis, we have told that we have to make the child involved in the day to day activities so that he can understand why it is happening. For example, in the clinical aspects we have explained one thing what is that suppose if the baby is passing urine daily or child is passing urine daily at night of us don't scold him don't tell anything but in the next day morning when you are cleaning the bed sheets and bed etc you just involve the baby in that task so after one day definitely the child will go into ask so why we are doing all these things then you can just tell him that uh, last day night we have passed the urine therefore we are cleaning it now it is a, a awareness created to the child child is now ask himself or herself so oh, okay so last night i have passed the urine therefore all this task is happening so now this particular explanation looks like that one of such experiment okay Now, a clay collected from the place of urination should be fried in a vessel and administered to the child with honey and grita. This is one more explanation given as a treatment. Again, so this cannot be practiced in the present day practice. A child who cannot control his or her urge to pass the urine is advised to take the decoction of the root of the chameli or jasmine of cinnamon. This treatment has been mentioned. A Malayalam text highlighted the Dayuvapashri Chikisa for Shaya Mutra and mentioned a, a child who set, uh, who wet during the night time should be given with Vishnu Padodaka after washing the statue of Sri Balakrishna. That means after the water, the holy water which we used to wash the Lord Balakrishna's statue or idol. So that is collected and that is given for the child for drinking. This is a type of Daiva Pashriya Chikisa. Such a type of uh, traditional practices are even practiced nowadays also it is practiced in the village area. Putting some of the basmas, giving the tirtas is still practiced in some of the areas as a part of Daiva Aparsha Chikisa. And uh, we know that the role of the mind and role of confidence, role of the positive re reinforcement method in the successful management of uh, nocturnal enuresis. And these explanations are also suggestive of the same. Commenting on Baisha Jaratnavali again, 
the Acharyavar Ambikada Pashastri added use of Bimbi Mula or Ahifena in Shaya Mutra Chikitsa. And this was described in the context of Shuddha Roga Chikitsa, but he had not given any description of the disorder or the etiology, etc. But he mentions that Bimbi Mula and as well as Ahifena can be given in case of a Shaya Mutra. Now, Bimbi Mula is considered as Medya, whereas Bimbi Fala is considered as Amedya. Whereas Bimbi Mula is considered as Medya. And role of the Medya drugs in successful treatment of the nocturnal anusis is well known to us because we have seen the previous classes how the brain is involved, how the psychology is involved, psyche of the child is get affected, how the stress is involved uh, as a causative factor for uh, nocturnal anusis. So, this may go into help in that context. Ahifena is mentioned here, which is a little sedative and uh, uh, may be helpful to uh, some extent. Now, uh, these are the treatments. Are some other treatment is explained, like Jati Fala Chuna is also explained. Now, if you go into the all the details, go uh, if you see all the details of uh, Shaya Mutra so far we have covered, and also nocturnal analysis. So, treatment plan in Ayurveda can be formulated in the following way. Okay. So basically, there is Vatahara and Rajoguna Sthapaka property should be there. So there is over fluctuation of the mind and also increase in the Vata qualities or unstable. Vata is unstable, you can say. So now we have to go for Vatahara and as well as Rajoguna Sthapaka uh, plan of treatment by either increasing the Tama or Sattva so that the Pittakara or Kafakara treatment, Pittakara and Kafakara treatment can be followed. Now, if you look into the contemporary science, so imipramine like drugs which are used, nothing but uh, tricyclic antidepressant drugs are used. Basically, they are a sort of sedatives. And uh, that means we are also giving some drugs which increase the tama. Tama is to kapha and uh, nidra sleshma tamo bhavaha. So, therefore, the kapha drugs also mm, uh, helps to uh, stabilize the raja because when raja is more tama will be less and if you increase the tama naturally the relatively the rajoguna decreases the drugs which increase the tone of the bladder muscles can be also used and uh, some of the kupilu preparations and also kupilu as a drug is quite useful in case of increasing the bladder tone similarly vacha like preparations are also helpful in increasing the muscle tone Vata is not only acting as media, but also it helps to increase the muscle tone. Drug causing the relaxation of the bladder muscles, if the patient is having or child is having overact, uh, overactive bladder, in such conditions, we can give the drugs which cause the relaxation of the bladder muscles. Now, nocturnal polyuria like conditions causing Shaya Mutra can be very well treated by Mutra Sangrahaniya drugs. It may be diabetes insipidus, diabetes mellitus, or nocturnal polyuria. So we can go for Mutra Sangrahaniya drugs. And definitely there is a role of media drugs because psychological access and as well as brain is directly involved. So we can go for Bimbi Mula. We can al also go for Sarasatarishta, Ashwagandha Rishta, or some other media drugs. There is also little role of sedation. So some of the drugs which can induce sedation in the chair, like Ahifena, Datura can be also given in the calculated doses very carefully. To decrease the intestinal motility, that is also one of the cause. Jati Fala Chuna is indicated. And in case of constipation, again, the treatment of constipation should be followed in the form of Virechanopaga drugs or maybe Anulomana drugs. Next, we have to correct the Dhi, Dhairya, and Atmadi Vijnana. That is, we have to build up the confidence. That is nothing but positive reinforcement treatment, and this is done by increasing the dhi, dhairya, and uh, atmadi vijnana of uh, the child. Sattva vajaya chikisa should be followed. Sattva vajaya chikisa, the different method of correction of the thought process of the child or psyche of the child, is nothing but sattva vajaya chikisa. Arte bio ahite bio hu manu nigraha. Sattva vajaya refers to arte bio ahite bio. So that part we will go into discuss. 
medicine should be medicine should be also given before the food because in apanavat rogas always it is indicated that medicine should be given before food so this is basically an apanavata vishesha that means over functioning or under functioning or unstable functioning of a, or vitiated functioning of apanavata basically and therefore medicine should be preferably given before food now we look into the sattva avadhya chikitsa this is nothing but positive reinforcement therapy according to ayurveda now this sattva avadhya includes the behavioral therapy occupational therapy everything which is explained in the contemporary science that comes under the heading of sattva avadhya chikitsa primary enuresis requires the treatment for the cause and correction of the toilet training then surgical correction of the anatomical or congenital defects but the secondary enuresis which is regressive type basically because of psychological problems stress problems and some other mal adaptation problems sattva avadhya chikitsa can be very well employed child which is previously dry at night since so many months suddenly he again started with the night time incontinence can be well treated by the implementation of sattva avadhya chikitsa this problem should be considered as psychosomatic disorder and should be treated sattva avadhya chikitsa or the positive reinforcement or behavioral therapy keeping the sattva avadhya chikitsa as the base the following ayurvedic treatment modalities can be applied sattva avadhyo punah arthebhyo ahitebhyo mano nigraha that is it is something related to control of the mind it regularizes the functions of the mind and also it is trained to avoid and desensitize those factors which are ahita that is unwholesome to the body and as well as mind artha refers to all possible knowledge attained by the child through the indriyas it may be hina it may be mithya or it may be ati yogas the samyak artha grahana is possible by correction of dhi dhruti and smriti and these are some of the areas where we have to interfere in a child with uh, uh, nocturnal enuresis especially regressive type so a clinical protocol can be made in such child by keeping following facts in the mind increasing the dhi we have to try to increase the dhi of the child we have to increase the dhruti of the child we have to enhance the smriti of the child increase the dhairya of the child we have to prevent certain prajna pradas which is happening intentionally or non intentionally we have to regulate the thought process we have to regulate the process of analyzing the thought then regularize the objective analysis and increase the capacity to fix a objective and increasing the capacity to take the right decision now these are some of the criteria that can fix when we are planning sattvodaya chikitsa in a child so further some of the factors are other criteria are by enhancing the knowledge of the self and the disease process so we can implement the sattvodaya chikitsa by enhancing the knowledge of a self and as well as disease process atmadi vijnana one of the uh, main facet is atmadi vijnana so we can create the faith about the self and physician that is also very important in the treatment of shayya mudra we have to create the faith about the self and also about the physician and also about the parents so uh, this is done by daiva vapasha chikitsa we have to understand the desire and the complex of the child and as well as parents also to some extent so especially we have to understand the desires and complex like and dislike of the child and that has been explained as ishtasya labham ishtasya alabham anishtasya labham so all the mental disorder according to ayurveda is because of this factor ishtasya alabham anishtasya labham now methods which are explained in adhravya bhuta chikitsa should be adopted like harshana kshobhana samhanana baya vismarana etc can be tried according to the situation if it is if the situation demands now correction of the mind should be done by interfering with the process of attaining jnana vijnana shila dhairya smriti and samadhi
and we have to also apply the Achara Basayana according to the requirement. And there is also need of application of Sadhurata because we have told that we have to correct the schedule of the child. It may be sleep hygiene, diet hygiene and then daily routine. So these are all part which concern to the occupational therapy and as well as behavioral therapy. Educating the patient to withhold the dharaniya virgas to some extent, that is bladder control capacity should be increased by withholding the urine uh, during the daytime. So this increases the tone of the muscle. So, so this can be also tried. So these are all the different facets which we include when we are adopting a sattva vajaya chikitsa in a child with the shaya mutra. Now first we will see with the correction of the factor by sattva vajaya chikitsa. So we know that the basically refers to the intellect to differentiate between the good and bad things. In the given child, uh, D is get affected in given child with the nocturnal analysis of Shaya Mutra. Actually, this has to be done to the child and as well as parents also because parents also do have many confusions here. So parents may be in confusion that child is passing it intentionally. The fault of the child is only and ultimately decide to with the punishment, insulting and harassing the child. What parents decide is this is the fault of the child only. This is a fault of the from the child's part. So ultimately the parents decide that so we have to punish the child or correct the child. So they will go for aggressive methods. Therefore, clearing this confusion of the parent is also very important. So the differentiation between good and bad, truth and false, that will be done. So both are considered the triggering factors for Shaya Mutra. Therefore, it has to be corrected. Physician should clear the confusion of the parents and them in this regard by explaining the minimum role of the child. Child has got minimum role. Child is not knowing and child is not doing it intentionally. And the over excitation and anxiety of the parents and surrounding environment increases the stress of the child further. So we have to teach them to be cool and calm. So psychological support that is required to the child should be ensured. So this is one thing. Then correction of the B factor by Satwajitik is how we can do it. So this can be done by some of the questionaries so that we can understand the mentality of the child and also mentality of the parents. So following questions can be asked to understand the D of the parents. What was the confusion that parents had regarding this particular disease? Do you think that your child is really responsible for it? Do you think that he is doing it intentionally? Do you love and sympathetic to the child? Do you think you are giving maximum care to your child? Do you think that punishment gives good results? Do you think that your child is helpless? You ask these questions to the parents and get the answer. Then you can understand the mentality of the parents. And you can then proceed accordingly. Similarly, to test the D factor, you can similarly ask some of the questions to the child also. Child means patient. Are you doing it intentional or non-intentional? Do you think your parents are very bad? Uh, what do you think about your problem? Do you think it's really a problem? And do you think they didn't respond for your demands? And can you understand their intention when they are punishing you, punishing you? or whether they, uh, when they are scolding you, you ask these few questions and get the reaction from the child and then you can understand where is the level of D in the child. So in the subsequent follow-ups, we can go for some homework also. So child is asked to maintain a note or notebook where he quotes number of happy and unhappy situation he experienced by parents in one week. Let him note all these points or timings also with the timings and rectification of the same should be done in the next follow-up and child should start believing his parents and parents in their child these are the homeworks that we are giving daily 15 minutes of get together of all the family members with the child to raise his faith level up should be done and it result result should be documented how much the result they are getting Certain simple questions should be asked to check his discrimination power daily. Apart from the disease factor, 
some other general question has to be daily asked by the parents to the child to check his discrimination power b factor when he is able to differentiate in good and bad things some simple question has to be asked what happens if you touch a fire suppose which is good for health hot water or cold water so who will be placed as good boy and bad boy okay and a result should be again documented so these are the simple methods that we should follow to correct the b factor of the child next we go for the correction of the dhruti factor in the child dhruti has been explained as controlling factor for the good will dhruti hi manaso niyamatmaka dhruti manaso niyamatmaka dhruti so mind is constantly get exposed to a lot of sensory and as well as motor stimuli in every second so dhruti does not function uh, dhruti does the function of the thought integration and the processing and it guide and, and gives guidance for its external representation so depending on the capacity of the dhruti personality and behavior of the individual acts so regulate the outbursting of the regulate it, it also regulates the outbursting emotions by clearing the confusion hurdles in the path of true knowledge now in a patient of shaya mutra he may be confused to react to a situation when he get voided in the bed confusion while reacting with the family members is also seen after the event due to negative reinforcement behavior by the parents so further fluctuation in the state of dhruti may result in alternative positive and negative attitude of the child regarding the disease process so fixing the dhruti at a positive mode is very very important so again this dhruti has to be tested for the parents and as well as the children or patient some of the questions to parents to understand the level of dhruti that they have do you observe the child is losing his temperament do you observe the child regret or helplessness after the event and do you see your child is turned away or arrogant while you are advising him and do you seen your kid is gradually withdrawing from the close friends and do you think your child is seriously follows the methods like ultra method etc or whatever advice given by the doctor and you whether he is happy by dry nights and equally sad by the wet nights and do you notice continuous pricing daily decreases the incident so these questions when we ask the parents and the reaction and answer of the patient helps to understand us the developing dhruti level in the child Similarly, the question should be asked to child also to understand the level of dhruti. Do you think that you are able to maintain the confidence level? I mean, quite elder children we can ask this, or at times you lose the confidence, and uh, at the same height every day. And do you think that you are improving day by day? Do you think everybody in the family is trying to your betterment? And are you sad after every incident? And do you feel happy after a dry night? so this question can be asked to the child also do you think a continuous boosting is required to you for the better performance always if somebody is boosting somebody is praising you and you are doing well otherwise you are coming down do you think so so do you think critics by your friends and relatives shake your firm decision and do you clear about the pathology of the disease and do you think it is only you that you can fight against it these are some of the questions we can make so many other questions also to understand the dhruti factor now certain homeworks can be also given to understand the dhruti factor child is asked to develop a skills of developing the self confidence ask him to do certain small task without any one's assistance give him some autonomy okay this helps to develop his skills of uh, development child is asked to develop the skills of getting fixed to a situation and educate him to not disturbed by distracting stimulus like reading it in, in between the noise and ask him to reproduce it that means child is asked to develop the skills of getting fixation to a particular situation make him practice of uh, reading in between the noise in the noisy environment also so that its concentration is maintained so give him a task of uh, choosing a right answer about the fact with five or six confusing options and these are all some of the homework that you can do to increase the dhruti of the child next we come to the correction of the smriti factor in shayamutra 
ನಾವು ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಇನ್ನು ಶಯ್ಯ ಮೂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ರಿಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ರೀಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಸೊ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ವೇ ಆರ್ ರಜಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತಮ ಆರ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮನಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ ಟು ದ ಎಬ್ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ವಿ ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಯ್ಯ ಮೂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತಮ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಇಮೋಷನಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ಡ್ ಚಾಯ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ರಜಾ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಟು ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಡು ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಪಾಸ್ ದ ಯೂರಿನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬೆಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಯು ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ದ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಡು ಯು ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಪಾಸ್ ದ ಯೂರಿನ್ ಆರ್ ಡು ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಅವೇಕನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಬೆಡ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ವೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಆರ್ ಡು ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ದ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲ್ರಾಮ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಅಲರ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಡು ಯು ಕನ್ಸೋಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಟ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಫಾಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ನೋಸೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡು ಯು ಫಾಲೋ ದ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಯುವರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಸ್ಸೆಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವೇ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ಲೆಸನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಈಚ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಈ ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಇಟ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ರಿಗ್ರೆಟ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ರಿಗ್ರೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕನ್ವಿಕ್ಷನ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಪುವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಹಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬೈ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಹೀ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಹೀ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಈಸ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಹೌ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಓವರ್ಕಮ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಅಪ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ ಟು ನೋಟ್ ದ ಡೇಲಿ ಡೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ ದ ಯೂರಿನ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ ಟು ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಡೇಲಿ ಅಟ್ ದ ಬೆಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಎನ್ಹ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಕಂಫರ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಂಫರ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೀಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ನಾವು
that also depends upon the dairy fat. Hinasattva child and Hinasattva parents may show complete let loose behavior, while medium and uh, Pravarasattva child and parents may be able to withstand this problem. Now, certain questions should be asked the child to assess the level of diarrhea in the child. Very simple. Are you confident of coming out of this problem? And do you think that parents are unnecessarily making this is a big issue? Sometimes the child say, yes, it, it, there is no much problem, but my parents are making this a big problem. Many times in OPD we see during counseling. I don't know why they are making such a big issue. Yes, that, that means child is confident, parents are not confident. Parents are Parents have less confidence, but child has got full confidence. If you train this child to some extent, he will be doing good things. So do you think parents' reaction and friends' comments make you lose your confidence? And did you notice better performance on the day you assured by the mother? Okay, m uh, what make you to lose your confidence? What makes your confidence raise? Ask such simple questions on every follow-up, okay, and try to increase the level of diarrhea, and that will going to help a lot. Now, how to do some of the homework? So, child is asked to freely talk with the parents who are already counseled. Previously, the parents has to be counseled regarding this fact and then child is asked to freely talk with the parents to discuss the different issues of the or problems. Child has to note down those points in the conversation which assured him more. You have to see the child. When you are talking to the patient, uh, your parents, what are the facts that make you to feel confident? Which words, what words of your parents will make, made you feel more confident? Child is asked to meet those kids and parents who uh, successfully come out of this problem. And uh, a diary of the same has to be made. Okay, this is very useful. And child, child and parents both. And child is asked to maintain a diary of improvement and also dryness and uh, number of voiding after this approach education. During this follow up, all the details should be verified and lacuna should be corrected. Now similarly, we can see so many things, we can correct the chintya factor, I will not go in detail, we can uh, have the questionnaires here, chintya, manasasya, vishaya, that's chintya, uh, then similarly we can analyze the thought process, vicharya, and also atmadi, vijnana, this can be corrected. Creating the faith about the self and physician is very important. This is also one of the important aspects. And uh, now we can go for some of the Adhavya Bhuta Chikitsas. Okay. So you can ask some of the questions. Uh, do you believe in God? Do you believe in your parents? Do you think that parents are always do well for you? Do you think that if you take the medicines of the disease, it will cure definitely? This is about to check the uh, faith and belief that child has got. Similarly, one of the important thing is ishtasya lava and anishtasya, ishtasya alava and anishtasya lava. This is also told in uh, Bhagavad Gita by Lord Krishna. So understanding the desire and complex of the patient without which the purpose of the treatment cannot be achieved. Understand the ishta and anishta of the child, likes and dislikes. This is nothing but likes and dislikes. So child may dislike the association of certain person around him or sometimes it may like association of certain for example teachers child may like some of the teachers in the school some of the teachers it may not like okay that's so so if a teacher who is not liked by the child is always in close proximity with the child it is anishtasya lava it is anishtasya lava okay so child may dislike certain food similarly child may not be comfortable with certain friends and teachers prevented from watching his favorite TV channel. That is also Ishtasya Lava. Okay. And uh, child is seeing some of the horror films. It's Anishtasya Lava. So certain teachers and certain relatives who will be constantly exposed to him daily. So this is the concept of Ishtasya Lava, Ishtasya Lava and Anishtasya Lava. And this factor has to be corrected. Uh, understanding the desire and complex of the patient. To understand this uh, complicit, the child, certain question has to be asked for both parents and child. Or do you think whatever you want is not available? And do you fully satisfied with whatever playing articles you have? Or are you dislike your present friend's circle? 
or uh, which teacher you like, the same question I have told. So, this helps to understand the level. That is the big list, we will not go in detail. Then, jnana. So, one of the one, one of the principles of psychology is like jnana. So, you have to increase the jnana. Word meaning of jnana is adhyatma janya or atma janya jnana. Atma jnana is a self realization. Child as well as the parent has to self realize the problem. And then only the treatment is possible. Child should be realized that this is a personal problem related to this child. And it is only he who can come out of this. So he should be motivated regarding the ways of coming out of this. And he should understand that this problem can be definitely corrected if he is willing. This is inducing jnana in psychology itself. Jnana means nothing but self-realization. Okay? So these are some of the methods, ultra method, then uh, role of uh, prayers, okay? then um, many such activities can be employed to increase the self-realization of the patient. Another principle of Satwaja Chikisa is Shila. This can be also adopted in Satwaja Chikisa for Shaya Mutra patients. The word meaning of Shila is uh, Shilam Anushila Nena. Sleep habits, food habits, personal habits. Now, which means results or outcome of continuous practice. This should be adopted in the clinical protocol of Satwaja Chikisa as follows. The child and parents can come out of the condition only after the continuous practice. Whatever schedule they are doing, it should be practiced daily. If the rules and regulations and advice has been given by the parents or doctor or medicines are given, that should be daily taken in a correct way. And whatever all the exercise, homework it is given, that should be daily followed. Child should be encouraged to practice these things regularly. Especially, he has to take the food in the right time, he has to go to the bed in the right time, he has to get up in the right time, and uh, certain of the activities should be daily done. Okay. So, like respecting the elders, guru, helping others, uh, following the code of conduct, etc. These factors help to develop the positive mindset of the child as uh, 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 such a behavior will be appreciated and highlighted by all along with blessings. Such behavior will be always praised in the society. And that gives a confidence. Shilam. Okay. So, certain methods which can be followed by the child and parents mm, for this. Okay. Uh, like uh, daily visiting the elders and seeking their blessings, daily visiting the temples nearby, daily doing some one work which helps others, daily giving some eatables to the animals that uh, that he likes very much, funny games like even many things can be followed. This depends on again, you clear the person. I'm just giving the outline how to inculcate shila factor in uh, satwaja chikisa. Similarly, harshana chikisa should be done. Uh, one more factor that is adhavya bhuta siddhanta, which can be taken under the clinical protocol of uh, Satwaja Chikisa. The word meaning of Harshana is uh, Harshanat Amodhena, which means that the condition which has been created by cool, calm, assured and conducive, confident, comfortable, happy and secure environment. Okay? Mm, that should be a friendly environment. Maybe in the home, wherever he goes, school environment, should be very happy environment, pleasant environment. Child should like it. A child with the Shaya Motra also we should try to create such an environment. Certain homework should be given to the parents also that we have um, uh, mentioned so many times. So this is how we can practice the Satoja Chikitsa in the clinic as a clinical protocol for the assessment of the uh, uh, child with uh, Shaya Motra child. Okay. So we can add and delete some of the unwanted substance. Uh, money, uh, unwanted matters from here according to the requirement of the care. But just I am giving an outline that how we can include these all factors uh, in the contemporary sense what we say counseling of the child, a similar type of uh, counseling, behavioral therapy, occupational therapy can be considered as Satwaja Chikisa in children and we can very successfully uh, incorporate it. So this is the basic model that I have prepared and it needs further modification. Okay. So, this is by continuous practice and by clinical experiences, we can make it more clear and more um, uh, fruitful. And this is a basic idea that I have given, so, so that everybody can practice. Now, at the end, when you talk about the clinical practice, sorry, the treatment of uh, Shaya Mutra, if a patient of Shaya Mutra comes to me, so what is my prescription and how we will proceed? 
first I will identify whether it is a primary or a secondary. Then I will look into the age of the child. Then I will look into the family setup. Then I will go for counseling of both child and parents. And then we'll correct the triggering factors and stress factors. I will go into remove them. Then I'll go with some of the bladder control measures. Then I will implement the Sattvavya Chikitsa. I may go with the Bimbi Mula Swarasa, Jati Faladi Chodana, according to the requirement. I will look into the cause and I will give. And I can give some of the Kupilu preparations, major drugs, and yoga and refreshing methods, yoga and pranayamas. I will make the night time very pleasant. I will include many Daiva Vapashya Chikitsas. I will go for positive reinforcement, then gift method, award method, etc., pleasing methods, etc., and at least spend 30 minutes with the child. At least spend 30 minutes with the child daily. And uh, enter all the events of the day and go for some of the medications according to the cause. So, this is the ideal way of a prescription in the child of. So, with this we complete the Ayurvedic management and implementation of Sattva Vajajikisa in Shayamutra. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also give your comments. Thank you very much.